can get up here. <laughs> I made it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ochi Wolf Collection. Thanks so much for clicking on my little video link and watching this video. Your support means everything as my little channel continues to grow. So thank you guys so much. Today is finally the day. I am going to be reviewing the Tescom Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Curling Iron slash Hair Straightener. Yes, my friends, it is both. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button right now. And yes, that's a demand because I know you only clicked this video because you're curious about Sailor Moon merchandise. And that's really what my channel's about. So I think you'll really like the community that we have built here on YouTube. But yes, back to the curling iron, guys. I am going to be showing you a demonstration on how I curled my hair with it and how I straightened my hair with it. But first, I wanna just get this out of the way, just give you guys some information for those of you guys out there who may not even uh, knew about this like maybe you guys didn't know when it was coming out maybe you didn't know about our website that keeps you guys up to date on the latest sailor moon news at sailormoonfannetwork.com if you want to stay up to date on the latest sailor moon news and merchandise drops around the world we did blog about this right when they announced it and how you could order it as well so i'll have a link to our specific blog post all about this curling iron if you guys want to get the details and see how to order it, if it is still available. The curling iron was originally announced back in December 2021 and orders went live shortly after. Now this was only sold in Japan, so yes, I did have to use a proxy to order, but it's really easy to use one of those. I used Zen Market for this one as their fees were the cheapest. So I put in the Japan's shop link into their system and they ordered it for me for only a 300 yen fee. That's $3 or less depending on the current currency exchange. I did get it in December. So yes, this review is super late because it is April now. Here's a photo on the screen right now, how it arrived from Zen Market. They packaged it very nicely. The total that I paid for this with their 300 yen fee and shipping was 16,577 yen, which was about $150 in the end. I know, super pricey. That's not cheap at all. It really steered a lot of people from biting the bullet and trying it out because for a lot of us, me included, I've never heard of Tescom, the brand Tescom, and you just never know with hair tools if it's gonna be right for you. $150 was a big risk for a lot of us. I decided to take that risk for you guys and I'm gonna tell you all about what I think. I was also convinced that I had to give this a try because it was dual. It was a curling iron and a flat iron. And I was thinking to myself, okay, I travel a lot. This would be a great item to travel with as a hair tool because a lot of times I have to pack my straightener, my flat iron, and I also have to pack a curling iron. Why not save some space in my luggage and use a tool that's both? It can straighten your hair and with the click of a button, it can curl your hair. So super functional item for traveling and you know, just people who have long hair who need to style it. I know, I know, I know it's April and I did get it in December, like I said. And I'm gonna tell you why. When I first used it, I really didn't think I was using it properly. So I wanted to test it out a lot and make sure that, you know, it wasn't user error on my part or, you know, maybe it was just like a learning curve. Like the more I use it, the more I'll get to use, like realize how this curling iron is versus the one that I use. And I use a Hot Tools one currently. 
or I did <laughs> before I got the Sailor Moon one. But um, yeah, I just wanted to use it a lot of times so I could really see and learn how to use it properly. I've used it like 10 times now. So I feel like I have enough experience with this tool now to give you guys an honest, detailed review. Here's the story of a girl named Mochi who has very thick and frizzy auburn hair. She wasted money like she does on a Sailor Moon hair tool. <laughs> All of my clips, I swear to God, that I had to freaking film over so many weeks Reminded me of the Brady Bunch, you know, how they have all those little squares of the people and they were singing the song and I'm like, this is me, this is what happens. I'm the Brady Bunch uh, for this whole review. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I used it a lot and made sure that, you know, I really formed a solid opinion on it. So my hair type, guys, I do have very long hair, as you guys can see. Um, it is, it's coarse. It's somewhat frizzy. It's also bi-textured, like I have a different type of texture on the underneath of my hair. So as a disclaimer, this review is only reflecting my personal opinions for my own hair. I have not used it on any other type of hair, so I cannot say if this may differ for your type of hair. So please guys, just know from here on out, my review is solely based on my type of hair and what I thought of it compared to other hair tools I have used during my adult years. Oh yeah, I've got a solid review on this baby right now. Will this be my first negative review? Dun, dun, dun. So here's the iron. It's designed very lovely. I love how it looks. I love how it feels. It feels so premium in terms of the material and quality holding it in your hands. I have no complaints on how the iron looks and feels. It's very solid. Love that about it. The iron has a digital temperature display with a neat Sailor Moon silhouette that's in Celsius, of course, but it's easy with a quick Google search to Celsius to Fahrenheit if you're a Fahrenheit user, so that's all I did. The iron heats up from 100 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius or about 212 degrees Fahrenheit to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Setting the iron's temperature took a minute for me to figure out, but it was pretty easy after I tinkered with it for a little bit, so please don't let that discourage you or anything. You pick which temperature you want, and then it will beep at you when it's at temp. That feature is awesome. It's kind of like an oven, you know? It tells you when it's already warmed up and ready to go, so that was really neat. I really liked that. Now, this iron also has a steam feature, which was brand new to me. I have never had a flat iron or a curling iron that has had this steam feature. So for this one, you pop this little compartment out and then you fill it with just a little bit of water. Like the compartment is super tiny, as you can see on the screen. Not a lot of water fits in it. So you do have to refill it a lot. I noticed I only had to fill it up after a couple of either a hair straightening session or a curling session. A couple of hair sessions, I'll just say, is when I have to refill it. I tried it with and without the water. For the curling feature, at least, the hair straightening I've always used with a little steam. I feel like that helps get my hair a lot straightener. Straightened, sorry, with the steam. So I did only straighten my hair with the steam, but with the curling feature, I did try both, and I really don't think there's a lot of difference on how my curls end up with either or. So I don't know if that's just me, if somebody else has a different experience with that. Also, let me know, guys, throughout this video, if you bought this iron for yourself, please let us know your own feedback based on your hair type down below. Because like I said, my hair type is uniquely me. Your hair type is uniquely you. So what works and what doesn't work for me could be different for you guys out there. So please join in on the conversation down there in the comments and let us know your personal thoughts on what you guys think of this iron if you got it for yourself. So the curling, oh my God, guys, it was a freaking challenge at first. I almost just wanted to throw this in the trash. No lie. It doesn't spin like my Hot Tools one does. So you have to spin the wand like with your hand. And also the iron held onto my hair so tightly. Oh my God, did I panic the first few times, like trying to understand how to let my hair go before, you know, it burned it all off. Oh, I really thought it was gonna burn it off. Like it wasn't a good time. I really thought I was gonna burn my hair off. It did have a bit of a learning curve that I wasn't used to. Like this was just a technique thing. So like once I used it more, 
then I got to really feel how to let go of my hair properly before it starts to burn it off. But once I used it over and over and over, that became less of an issue. So now when I curl my hair, I know how to use it, like spin it properly and kind of, you know, release this part a little bit more to let go of my hair in time before it burns it off. So that was just a, a learning curve, like I said. So at first I was like, oh no, I do not like this product. Uh, but then I was like, I need to continue to use this. I need to learn how to use this better. There's no way that it's going to hold on to my hair like this forever. Like it doesn't do this to everybody. I gotta change what I'm doing. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I don't really have any like suggestions for you guys. I can't really remember. Like I've used it so many times now. I don't even remember. I just started really like doing this a lot, like letting it go. But like when it was wound up so tight in my hair, it felt like it wasn't letting go. And I was like, oh my God, what have I done? I'm not gonna have any hair anymore. But that came with experience. So that is no longer an issue. So as you guys are seeing all these clips with me curling my hair, these are different days. I also have different type of hair during all this. Like sometimes if I air dry my hair, my hair is silkier. If I blow dry it, it's a little bit on the drier side. You'll just have to keep in mind, all of these are on different types different hair type days for me. My hair is wild and crazy. You guys can just wake up every day and just be like, oh, look at me, I have beautiful hair. I don't have to do anything to it. I think you do, I need you so much. So what I think of the curling iron after I really got to learn how to use it properly is I think it is a six out of 10 as far as my hair type and how it makes my curls compared to what I normally use, which is my Hot Tools one. So for this particular one, I feel like it makes my hair feel drier after using it. The curls are a lot tighter. I think also my Hot Tools one is also a bigger iron. Like I think it might be almost two inch or something. So that could have something to do with it, but it does make tighter curls. I feel like my hair comes out like more frizzy than my Hot Tools one. My Hot Tools kind of sleeks my hair out a lot more with the curling feature. But this one, I just feel like it kind of looked a little drier right after I curled it. Now, my kind of look is, I don't really like a lot of tight curls. I like to brush it out and have like a beachy wavy look, right? So after I brush it out and sleep on it a day, cause my hair type is, is typically dry. Like right after a shower and everything, it's really dry. And then when I sleep on it and the next day, it's, it's a lot silkier cause you know, my natural oils start seeping down and taming this wild mane of mine. And once that happens, like I get to have a little bit more natural oils in my hair and I brush it out then it looks good. I don't know if you guys watched my uh, Sailor Moon Figure Arts Zero Chouette video that I just posted not too long ago. This footage right here is of a couple of days like of sleeping, like a couple of days like overnight, I slept on it and then kind of brushed it out. So I think this looks really good. Like it started to look a little silky, but like right after, oh gosh, I didn't really like the look of it. As you guys see in these clips, that's how it looked right after. It does look dry, doesn't it? A six out of 10 is what I wanna say for the curling feature. I don't really like it, but guys, 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 I love the straightening feature. The straightening feature is like borderline nine to 10 out of 10. Like I'm not even joking. It is amazing. Like I think it's better than the flat iron I currently have and the flat iron I currently have, I don't even know the brand. I couldn't even tell you, but it's not a very expensive one. I think maybe a $40 flat iron that I have. And I feel like this one does a lot better. And thank God, because what, I paid 150 for this. Please have one function that I really love on it. It is the straightening feature. This is a great straightener. So if you guys have hair like me and you just want a good flat iron, a good straightener, that's also decked out in Sailor Moon, fandom related, really cute. I mean, look at that little charm that it has. Yes, 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 yes to the hair straightening. I love the straightener portion so much. And one of the really big reasons why is, you know, like sometimes when you're straightening your hair and you get down to the tip, like sometimes, you know, a flat iron will like get caught on something or it'll feel like snaggy or something, you know? This one doesn't, it is so smooth. It's so seamless. It just feels like it glides like a feather out of the iron. I can't say enough about how I love the straightening feature. So for that alone, I think it's worth it. And then of course I get the mediocre curling feature when I travel and take it. So I think like as a traveling iron with both features, it's worth it, it's worth it. But like if I was at home and I had both of my uh, pretty guardian Tuscombe curling iron and my hot tools and I wanna curl my hair, I'd probably use my hot tools. If I was on the go, if I was gonna, you know, be somewhere over the weekend, I would pack this and I would be happy 
with just packing one hair tool. So it's super convenient in that way. But that's my review, guys. I hope this helps some of you guys out there who may have been on the fence of buying this for yourself because it was a big risk money-wise. I get it. I understand it. I made that risk for you guys. So hopefully you can find one if you decide that, okay, now that Ochi's review came out, I think I want to get it and I think I want to try it. I hope you guys can find it. Like I said, I have a blog post on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com that we have made for you guys with the actual ordering link from Japan. Now they only ship to a Japan address, so you will have to use a proxy, but easy peasy guys, you can pick any Japan proxy. You can just give them the link if it's a business one or if it's you know somebody that you know who lives in Japan or an Instagram user who does proxy pickups in Japan, you can give them this link and you can tell them that you want to buy it if it's still available. I really hope it is. I have not checked. This came out in December and it is now April. So I'm not sure if they're still around, but you also might be able to find it on the secondhand market as well, especially like Yahoo Japan auctions, maybe Mendorake, something like that. I'll have a few links down there for you guys to those secondhand places. Yahoo Japan auctions is like Japan's eBay. So you could get lucky if you want one, if these are no longer available for retail, because I do believe these were limited edition. But yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our pack that we got going on here. I just now started to do live streams. So I'm streaming every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. If you guys would like to join, you can always watch the past streams if you miss them or can't make it at that time. But I'd love to see you guys um, hop on one one time live and join in on the chat. We have a lot of fun. I answer live questions. We just kind of have a, a chill and hang. And yeah, we just have a good time. So check those out if you guys can. And hit that like button for me if you haven't yet. And watch another video on my channel if you guys are super bored and don't have anything else to do. I've got more content coming soon. So yeah, let me know your guys' feedback on this review down there in the comments. Thanks so much again, guys, for all the support. I really, really love you all. And I can't thank you guys enough. Mwah! Kisses for you guys and have a great rest of your day or night.